CBC Color Presentation. Take her home. That's the first thing I'm going to do. This isn't because of what I said, is it? I don't want anybody to think I caused any trouble. Hi, Andy. What's wrong? So much for responsibility, huh? Responsibility? What are you talking about? All right, where is she? Vicky? Not Vicky. Damn it, Jennifer. And don't pretend you don't know why I'm here. What's going on? Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. What's happening? What's happening is that everything we've agreed to has been tossed in the garbage. Is Jenny here? No, I haven't seen her today. She left, took her thing. She's gone. Now, are you going to try to pretend you don't know what that means? Uh, look, she's a sensible girl. Maybe she and Tim just went for a drive or something. Um, <clears throat> honey, could you give us a few minutes, please? Throw a tape on the VCR, why don't you? All right, where's your son? I don't know. Then they're together. Look, if they're not here, then they're together. And you both know that that's true. I do not know it. And I don't believe it. They promised us. Yeah, well, around this house, promises seem to get batted around like balloons. We're trying to deal with it, for God's sake. I don't know what more we can do short of splitting up our family. Is that what you think we should do? For one thing, you can tell me how this could have happened. What do you mean, how it happened? They liked each other. And just where were you when all this liking took place? Too busy with your own liking, huh? I'm trying to hold my temper, but I don't want you talking to her like that. Now, is that oh, so you do the talking. You tell me about it. It's your son. Look, our daughter has something to do with it, too. Don't make it sound like it was all... And do you, Victoria, pledge to David your partnership and bond? Do you promise to love him, cherish him, and honor him for as long as you both shall live? I know Jennifer. Do you? And by the authority vested in me under the laws of this state... I pronounce that you are husband and wife. Congratulations. Thank you so very much. Great performance, Bob. Yeah, thanks. I love you, son. Me too. I love the band. Got them cheap, too. <laughs> all right. All right, we'll do um, 17, then 24. All right. So the new family's all moved in, huh? Not quite yet. They're still at Vicky's. They'll move over here after their honeymoon. Where's everybody going to bond? Well, Kyle, the little guy's going to be with me till summer. Then we're going to finish that room over the garage. Well, how are you getting along with your new sister? She's fine. I don't really know her that well. It all happened pretty fast, you know. She seems like she'll be okay when she grows up a little bit. Looks to me like she's growing up just fine. <laughs> all right, ready, boys? One, two, one, two, three. Uh, children's bedroom upstairs. Where do you 
can uh, move my stuff over and share the counter. Great. We've got the whole closet in your room and half the one in the hall. It's only temporary to have a chance to throw them away. Well, this is a terrific time to throw things away, right now. Oh, the posts are in the, are in the garage. OK, you can stack the beds in your room. Bunk beds? It'll give you more floor space. Did, did you know that most intra-family homicides her on moving day. <laughs> Is the mother the first to go? Tim? Is this okay? What I've done in here? Just perfect. Start in the bathroom. It better be urgent. It is. We're in trouble. What's the matter? Ginny aces us out. She takes so Tuesday. Good morning. Uh. Traffic jam? Yeah. Oh, well, I think he's almost dressed and he can use our bath. Well, if she didn't... All clear, Tim. All right. Oh, careful of the shower. It went cold when I was rinsing off. I'll watch it. Morning. Morning, Jenny. You're running late, aren't you? Hey, Hi. Hi. Your little sister's really got the family out today. What do you mean? Well, her father's here for a junior varsity race. I didn't even know she was racing. I came to see you. Well, oh, good. I'll be back in a minute. OK. Hello, Dr. Collin. Oh, hi, Tim. Nice of you to come and cheer her on. What's the event today? 100 free. I keep telling her that she doesn't train hard enough for that event, but then I am trying to cure myself of being a pushy sports pilot. <laughs> hey, Kyle told me that you swam in the Olympics. He did? Yeah. <laughs> That's my boy. What he means is that I tried out. I came in uh, 134th. Take your mark. Here they go. can't raise champions, at least my kids are happy. Yes, sir. How is uh, everything going over there? Everybody settled in at your house? Getting there. Yes, sir. Good. Well, we'll see you. Okay. 
Oh boy. <laughs> How do you feel? Lousy. Don't you believe she plans to challenge for the varsity? You know, I don't want to brag, but I've got maybe three seconds on her easily. Maybe you should talk to her. Hey, it's none of my business. Oh. Hey, baby, you got scared, <laughs> huh? Aren't you proud? Yeah, I'm proud. <laughs> you know, we should double date sometime, her and Damon. Uh, I don't think so. I see enough of her at home. Oh, well, my race is next. Yeah. <laughs> Number one. Hey, that's not my fault. Oh, you're above rock and roll, is that it? I like good rock and roll, which is to say stuff that uses more than two chords. I listen to music for enjoyment, not to improve my brain. Yeah, we sure want to guard against that, don't we? Ah, race that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. What's your grade point average? 3.4. Why? Mine's 3.9. So? So don't come off like the biggest brain in town. Yeah, I said I was sorry. Besides, I want to be in pre-med and I... I'm impressed by that? My father's a doctor. My point is, I'm trying to get a scholarship to Princeton, and that means math and science. If, if I was on a glide path, arts and letters, I'd probably have a four point. My glide path schedule consists of organic chemistry, European I history... I apologize. I apologize again, okay? Well, apologies don't count while you're shouting! I have to shout so you can hear me over this junk you got planned! conversation stuff. Nose on the horizon. You know better than to let the nose drop. You want me to take your learner's permit? I'm practicing landing. This is my downward leg. Oh, okay. You let her practice landing, but you make me just fly straight. Yeah, well, that is because she's older than I am. I know. How about that? Telepathy. So, how's it working out, the new house and everything? <laughs> Fine. Okay. How about your mother? Is she happy? Sure, she's okay. She's okay. Just want to be sure that it's working out for everybody. It's just fine. Because if it's not, you know, we could always make some changes. You and Mom both said we couldn't live with you. I thought you wanted to live with your mother. We do. What he means is, is we couldn't live with you even if we wanted to. When we stay for the night, one of us has to bring a sleeping bag. Well, it's certainly true that my apartment's not exactly set up for a family, but... How's Emily? As a matter of fact, uh, I haven't seen Emily for quite some time. Uh, you can throttle back. You've got plenty of power. Somebody new? Well, as a matter of fact, there is a lady named Stephanie who seems to drop by every once in a while. And we settled just like a feather. Whoops. Not bad. Not good. Anyway, I meant what I said. If there's ever a problem, let me know and we can make some changes. Everything's fine. Hello? Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. Oh, darling. I feel so guilty. I was sure I was going to get home early tonight. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Teaching assistants don't make much, but at least our hours are terrible. Show me your guilty look. That's not guilt. 
How's this? Mm. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Jim. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi. It's my turn to set the table tonight. Doesn't matter. Well, if it doesn't matter, then I'll just do it. Hey, is something bugging you? Of course not. Because you've been acting kind of funny. Well, it's nice that I can amuse you. Well, it's getting to be a drag if you want to know the truth. So what's wrong? Leave me alone. Oh, sure, that just takes care of it. Just leave you alone. Right. Well, it's not that simple. When you're this way, you affect everyone else in the house. I'm not trying to affect anybody. Well, trying or not, you do. That's somebody else's problem and not mine. What is going on? Nothing. Oh, screaming just for the fun of it, are we? Well, I just said something that upset her and she... You did not. Well, then why the hell did you just jump down my throat like... Just calm down, both of you. This period is unsettling for all of us in a lot of ways. But Vicky and I have the right to expect everyone to adjust. And we have no right at all. What? That's how it feels, Dad. Tim, I don't think that's fair. Well, what I mean is that this is terrific for you and Vicky, and I'm glad for you, but I didn't ask for it. We didn't have anything to say about it. Right. I mean, you two have each other, and you're excited and everything, and that's great. Our lives have been knocked around, and we don't have all that going for us. Right. So what does all this have to do with you two getting into a fight? I'm not really that sure. Sorry. I'm sorry. Tim, I think I was taking too much of the counter space. Is this fair? If your toothbrush is wet, I apologize. No, I didn't brush my teeth with it. I accidentally dropped it in the john. But don't worry, I dried it off. Jenny. I'm in trouble. What's wrong? Would you believe that I have to pay my art supply bill today or they won't let me in class? And you forgot your wallet. Of course not. I wouldn't forget my wallet. So? I forgot to get money for Mom to put in my wallet. Oh, that's different. How much? Twelve bucks. Twelve bucks? Thank you. Now, I get it back tonight, sweetheart. It really breaks your fingers. All eleven of them. But then, how will I ever play the piano at Carnegie Hall? I didn't know she played the piano. Jen? <laughs> Hi. Bye. Bye. See you later. You, uh, you got a few minutes? Yeah. What's the matter? I need to talk to you about something. Jenny? Do you suppose I could hitch a ride home? Where's Damon? Yeah, you can have a ride. You okay? Yeah. I'm not okay at all. Yeah, it's obvious. I just got dumped. Wow. What happened? Damon just said he thought it was time we saw the people. That whole speech.
I love the water. That's probably why you're so good in it. Hey, have you been up to Pelican Key? No. We got kind of a house up there. Dad bought it a long time ago for next to nothing. Been fixing it up ever since. That sounds nice. Yeah, it's real pretty. It's right next to an old lighthouse. Hey, I heard Dad and Vicky talking about all of us going up for a few days over the break. I'd like that. Yeah, me too. What really hurts is that I don't care that much. I mean, I know what Damon is. It's not like I got dumped by Robert Redford after 10 years of marriage. I didn't even know you knew Robert Redford. I feel that even if a guy I'd gotten bored with, I mean, if even he doesn't want to be around me, I must be an Olympic class loser. A famous sociologist named Groucho Marx once said that he wouldn't want to belong to any club that would have him for a member. So? So I figure that's you. Any guy that's nerd enough to want you, you wouldn't want, right? I suppose you've never been dumped by anyone. Yeah, I've been dumped. Kelly Martin in the ninth grade. Doesn't count. You were just a kid. Oh, kid, serious. Fifteen years old, hormones pounding through my body like Mustangs, and Kelly Martin coolly observing life from her white marble pedestal. Kelly Martin? Yeah. I, mean, I heard she carries an inflatable mattress in her book bag. Well, she probably does, but I'm talking about my perception of her. When she swung the axe, the world stopped. So what did you do? I finally decided there are better ways to measure myself than by the opinion of one self-centered girl. What does that mean? I looked at myself one day and I said, all right, you're reasonably bright. I guess. Princeton does not give scholarships to bozos. Yeah, and they haven't given me one yet. I'm just hoping. I know they will. Hey, you're not only jinxing my scholarship, you're stepping on my story. I'm sorry. And I said, your looks are all right, or at least they will be when your acne clears up. Some of my friends happen to think you are drop-dead cute. Well, you have quality friends. And I said you're healthy, you play not bad trumpet, and you're not tattooed. All in all, I figured I had enough cards to get back in the game. I don't think there's a lesson in there for me. Sure there is. Look, you're smart. Or you're always trying to tell me you are. You're a good athlete. Great looking. Do you really think so? Yeah. Because I don't feel that way at all. Well, you are. Yeah. But you're prejudiced. Because you're my brother. Really? What I mean is, I'm not prejudiced at all. Look, right now you feel like you're not worth much because of what Damon said. But if you ask me, he's not only wrong, He's stupid. I think. I feel better. Good. For the first time, I realize that it's nice having a big brother. That's good, too. It really is. My friend, you and Tim bunk there. Me? Do we have a boat? What do you think? This is some chintzy no boat operation? What a kid. What's that? Ah, oh, yeah. Remember how I told you no electricity? Let me explain about the plumber. Uh, you were putting us on before, weren't you? About what? Electricity. There are wires to the house. Oh, that's that's for the telephone. Oh, but that's clever. There's a telephone, but there is no electricity. Oh, we don't want electricity. 
Dad had the telephone put in and your mom was sick in case of an emergency. Oh, God, Tim, I'm sorry. Oh, it's I okay. Didn't... This is where she told me she was going to die. Is it wrong for us to be here? No. It's not wrong. Come on. Grab a load. Okay. Mr. Esser. Yeah, this is Tim McGarry. I was supposed to call you. Yeah. Wait, what was that? I didn't understand. Oh. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Yes, sir, I will. Yeah, thanks a lot. Bye. whatever that means. Well, it means you should be proud. Princeton's fast lane traffic. Yeah, well, I guess I'm more suited for the shoulder and the off ramp. Oh, give us a break, you know? Well, he... Look, everybody, it's, it's okay, really. I mean it. Uh, don't you think he ought to be by himself for a while? Maybe I can help. didn't want me to come. Are you on her side or mine? Because if you agree with her, it means you think Princeton is more important than Damon. Well, what's Damon got to do with Princeton? Well, Damon dumped me and Princeton dumped you. Is that too hard for you to follow? The point is, you helped me out last week. I'd like to return the favor. Well, I appreciate the uh... It hurts Dad that he doesn't have enough money to send me to college. Well, he knows you don't blame him for that. Well, I know, but... <laughs> That's Dad. Most of his life is what he should do. Usually for other people. You know, he was offered the job of assistant superintendent of schools, and he turned it down. He said he thought he could contribute more as an elementary school principal. Well, he's probably right. Yeah. I'm so glad he met Vicky. Yeah. They're wonderful together. <laughs> wow. Nice, huh? Let's go in. Now? Sure. I can't pass this up. Yeah, but we don't have our suits. Come on, you don't need suits in a place like this. If you're nervous, just turn your back. I think I've had enough water for today. 
Come on, that's like saying you breathed enough air. This is what life is all about. You know, philosophers ponder the meaning of life and you find it in a lagoon. <laughs> Aren't you coming in? <laughs> I don't think so. You are so funny. When we rented a place on Pine Lake, Kyle and I used to go skinny dipping all the time. When was that? Um, I was seven or eight. Yeah, and he was three. If you think real hard, you can see it's not quite the same situation. Well, if you really want to be quaint, you can come in in your underwear. After all. After all what? That's what I did. Oh! After all your big talk. <laughs> yeah. Negative. Tim does not bat against Valenzuela, throw against Montana, or race Jenny What's-Her-Name in the water. Well, whatever keeps you happy. <laughs> go. Maybe you should turn your back while I get out of the water. All right. This was a good idea. Mm -hmm. Not too original, though. Lots of married people sleep together, I've heard. Mm -hmm. Coming to the beach. Oh. Mm. Tim's been so wonderful to Kyle and Jenny. Bless his heart. Mm -hmm. Bless his heart. He's a good kid. Yeah, he is. Your children are pretty wonderful, too. What about my children's mom? You didn't think she's wonderful? No. I'll get back to you. Say, can we pry you loose for a flick? Thanks, but this is due the day after we get back. Mm. Well, I don't think Jenny will bother you. Jenny's not going? Nope, she says not. See you in a while. Enjoy. Come on! Okay! <sighs> Yo!
Jen? Yeah? Just kind of wondering if you were still here. I thought maybe you changed your mind and went with, with him or something. No. Well, you've, uh, you've been so quiet. Well, I didn't want to disturb you. Oh, I, that was thoughtful of you. I mean, you wouldn't bug me or anything. You'll have to stay cooped up in your room. I know. I was just reading. Oh. So, how's your work coming? Pretty well. Good. Uh, I guess I'll get back at it. Okay. Oh, um... Yeah? I was just thinking, if you want to take a break after a while, go for a walk or a swim or something, give me a yell. Oh, I'll, uh, probably stick with this. Okay. I just thought maybe if you wanted a break. That was nice of you. Not really. I mean, it's no big deal. Well, thanks anyway. Jen? Yeah? I could probably use that break after all. I'll change. Right? You got it. Here, hang on a minute. Okay. You know why I didn't go to the movies? What do you mean? <sighs> because I figured that. You wouldn't be going. Oh. Well. I don't know what to say. I don't either. I mean, you don't have to say anything. <sighs> Are you cold? No. I don't know what that was. Jenny, I'm very uptight right now. So am I. I don't... I mean... I'm holding your hand. <laughs> That's a relief. I thought I'd gotten it caught in the vice. I'm sorry. It was an attempt at a joke. Sometimes I'm funnier than others. You know, like Johnny Carson.
Morning. Mm. You're sick. No, I just thought everyone would enjoy eating together. Hmm. Probably not as much as they enjoy sleeping, but I'll wake my roommate. You better warn the boys. Okay. Morning. Are you awake? I am. Kyle's not. Almost. The bacon did it to him. It'll be ready in five minutes. Do you want to be alone? No. We haven't had much of a chance to talk today. I mean, we haven't been alone. Well, it's probably just as well. Why? Well, we can't start making a point of running off to meet each other. I do believe you've come down with a case of the guilt. Negative. Do you? feel guilty? Well, no, but there's just a lot of implications. I'll tell you what. You figure through all those implications. And you come up with something wise to say. You let me know. That's such a good idea. Something wrong with the way I kiss? No. We just have to cool it. At least until... Until when? <laughs> I guess that's one of those implications I need to think through. The next event is the 100 meter freestyle. Swimmers to the starting block. Come on, Jenny! Take your mark. Set. Go, Jenny! Come on!
I'm almost through here, so if anybody needs a soda or a pit stop, you'd better get a move on. I think I'm gonna get a can of soda. <laughs> hey, it's nice to see you happy, Pump. Now, where did that come from? You haven't called me that since kindergarten. Well, that's about how old you were when you stopped bumping your head. I know that parents can't be responsible for their kids being happy, but it sure brightens my day when you are. Works the other way, too. What do you mean? We worry about our parents being happy. How about Vicky and David? Are they okay? Well, they're great. I just worry about you sometimes. What, right, old in charge Charlie here? To tell you the truth, I worried about you even more than Mom when the divorce was happening. That's dumb. Well, it's true, Dad. You seem so bewildered. I mean, you put up a good front, but it was like inside you didn't really understand why it was happening. Hmm. Was I all wrong? No. I'm still not sure I know what happened. We changed, both of us. The difference was that she noticed, and uh, I guess I didn't until it was too late. I have a very pleasant life, but I used to have a family. I love you, you know, you and Kyle. We know that. You see, when you're happy, I get bonuses. <laughs> you want to tell me why? No, but I want to go flying. Let's go flying. Oh. Put away. <laughs> Be enough? Yeah. Truth is, I don't want to waste a lunch hour sitting at a noisy table eating lousy spaghetti. Yeah. Not when this is the only time I get to talk to you. Outside of dinner and after dinner, passing in the halls outside the bathroom. Yeah, you know what I mean. You're never alone. A couple of days ago, I thought that's what you said you wanted. Let's, let's sit down. You do understand that what happened at the beach wasn't just a casual accident. You mean you planned it? No, of course not. What I mean is, it wasn't casual at all. I mean, it meant something to me. It meant an awful lot. To me, too. It's a very odd situation. I mean, we're not actually brother and sister, but... Took you days of thinking to figure that out. But we are in the same family now. We can't forget that. And, and everything we do affects everybody else in the house. Hi, Jenny. Hello, Damon. How have you been? Fine. Could I uh, talk to you for just a minute? Sure. <sighs> Look, uh, I've been thinking about things, you know. Um, maybe we were a little hasty. What do you think? We? So anyway, let's say we go out Friday night and talk about it. Thanks for apologizing, Damon, if that's what this was. It was very mature of you. But let's just leave things the way they are, okay? You sure you wanted to do that? Yes. You were saying before Damon? What I was saying was... We can't let it happen again, Jenny. It's not right. Okay. You don't agree? I agree that if you feel that strongly about it, then there's no question. I'll see you after school.
Other side. Come here. thinking we can't date we can't be alone together we can't touch and yet I don't want to do those things with anybody else but you well I feel the same way but I'm happy are you aware that you do that a lot what you announce your feelings I feel happy I feel lousy sorry But I am happy, aren't you? Of course. If the pest control man comes, tell him I found three ants in the laundry room. And tell the man your mother doesn't want to kill them, just resettle them with their families intact. What about dinner? Should I start something? No, I think we'll be back by late afternoon. Yeah. Hey, Jan, it's my turn to drive. You want to ride with me? Yes, I'll be two minutes. Well, you kids have a nice day. <laughs> you kids have one, too. <laughs> Bye. Give my love to Aunt Ella. We will. Do you remember in the dark ages of our marriage, some war took place between those two? Sure. Can you tell me what happened? Civilization. Never did any harm to anybody. <laughs> She's not here right now. You Wait a minute. My sister just came home. I'll ask her. Jen, I'll call you back. Yeah, me too. Jay, Randy wants to know if I can sleep over tonight. Is that okay? I don't know. I thought Mom didn't want you sleeping over except on weekends. Randy got the new Demon Attack video game. He says he'll stomp your head. Fine. Let's just wait till the folks get home. It won't be long. Randy's waiting for me. You have to do your homework first anyway. I don't have any. Come on, Jen. All right, but if Mom yells at me, you have to tell her you threatened me with a cannon. Okay, I have to call Randy back. That was a very responsible decision. So what's on your schedule? Oh, typical Tuesday for me, an hour of trig, an hour of physics. By then, the folks will be home and it'll be time for dinner. Well, I'll try to keep things quiet around here so you can concentrate. Okay, thanks. Jan, are you going to get that? Hello? Hello? Well, sounds like I got everybody. I'm sorry, did you want to speak to Tim? No, it doesn't matter, either or both. I'm here. Yeah, so are we, and I think we're going to stay here for a while, too. What's wrong? Fuel pump, and I don't know if we can get a new one tonight. You want me to come after you? No, no, I think it'd be simpler if we just stayed here. There's a motel just down the road, so we'll be fine. You'll be okay, won't you? Sure. You have money for groceries? I have some. I do too, don't worry. Okay. Vicky sends her love. And look, if you do need us, we'll be at the Trails End Motel in Arcadia. All right, I hope you get it fixed okay. And uh, call if you need one of us to come after you tomorrow. I'm sure we'll get it fixed. Say goodnight to Kyle. See you tomorrow. Right. Bye. too bad. Yeah. 
So? So I guess we should think about dinner, huh? I have a suggestion. Okay. Why don't we go out? There's plenty of food right here. Why don't we go out? For the evening. You get some junk food, and go to a movie. Is that what you want? I think it might be a good idea. spend the night at Jeff's house tonight. Oh. You wouldn't say that's juvenile, would you? I mean, be panicking at the thought of our being alone together. So, you decided not to go to Jeff's house? Of course not. We'll go home and sleep just like any other night. In the morning, we'll get up and have breakfast, go to school. We get home from school, folks be home. I would say that we're responsible enough to handle that, wouldn't you? Do you, um, do you want anything else to eat? No. I think I'll call and check on Kyle and go to bed. Okay. See you in the morning. Jenny. I do love you. I was hoping to hear that somewhere along the line. I love you too. I still wish we could have reached them. Well, I could try calling again, wake them, tell them we'll be there in an hour to wake them again. How could he mistake a fuel pump for a thermographing or what was it? Thermographing sounds close. How could a mechanic make that mistake? I have a suspicion he wasn't trained at the factory. <laughs> oh, I'm glad it worked out this way. I would have hated to cancel my 9 o'clock class tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Wake me up when you get home.
a little after two. We made pretty good time at that. You hungry? Yeah, I could use a bite. How about you? Oh, I'll pass. I'm gonna check on the kids on the chip bed. Okay, I'll be up in a second. How are you feeling? I think we have to talk now, Jenny. Where's Tim? He's in his room with David. I don't know what to say. I wish it hadn't happened. I mean, I'm sorry you were put in that position. I'm not sorry about Tim, and I think you should know that. If you're gonna hate me for what happened... You know I don't hate you. But you're disappointed in me. Very disappointed. I thought you were more responsible than that. Dad, we didn't plan anything. I didn't say you did. The fact remains you should be able to see what's wrong with this. Just what is it that makes it so awful? My father takes his current girlfriend to Aspen for a week, and nobody seems to say a thing about it. We are not talking about your father. Then what about you? You're going to tell me that you and David didn't sleep together until you were married? I'm not still in high school. Is age what this is about, then? Because I don't want to shock you, Mother, but compared to a lot of kids at school, I'm backward. And I could care less what all the other kids do. Then what, Dad? It's not our fault you and Vicky got married. You put us together and you say she's my sister. Well, she's not my sister. What? Just what do you think I'm accusing you of? The way you're reacting. I'm reacting to you doing something irresponsible. Doesn't it matter that I love her? I love him. Why can't you be glad about that? He's a wonderful person. The fact of it is you're in the same family now. Yeah, thanks to you. Yes, that's right. That's how it works, Tim. Children are in a family because of their parents. We didn't invent that. And don't you see? How something like Hello? that. Hello? Hi, I'm home. Where is everybody? Hi, Molly Kyle. Hi, honey. What's going on? Oh, just getting everyone ready to, uh, to start the day, huh? It's almost 8 o'clock and you guys aren't even dressed yet. Yeah, why don't you get changed and ready for school? How are you feeling? <laughs> A little late. Hey, you think there's a chance that we're overreacting? Do you? No. I just can't help wondering if I'm not responding to the fact that they're in the same family. My God, David, you make it sound like there's something incestuous about it. They're not even related. Well, I don't know what it is I'm feeling. I mean, I can understand why Tim fell in love with Jenny. After all, I fell in love with her mother, didn't I? Tom, would you be this upset if you'd found Jenny with her previous boyfriend? This upset? I don't know. I do know that they're going through enough hell without thinking they've done something perverted. Are you angry with them? Or are you trying to protect them? Both, aren't you?
So, uh, how was your day at school, honey? You asked me that in the kitchen, Mom. I said it was okay. Sorry, I guess I forgot. I wish somebody would tell me what's going on. Your mother called, asked if Carl could spend the night with me. Uh, no explanation, and she sounded kind of funny. I thought perhaps you knew if she and Dave were having trouble. They're fine, Dad. I'm not trying to pry, honey. I'm just concerned about you and Kyle. Everything's okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Where's your next class? I have swim practice. Before I walk you. I really feel lousy. Thank you. I always wait for your announcement. It's like getting the news and weather. Hey, what's with you? Well, you know that irritates me. Jenny, please. This is all going to calm down. We just can't panic. Bye. And Tori asked me to this try mu dance. I have to find some way to break it off without hurting her feelings. Why break it off? I mean, after all, are you going to start dating me? Hey, are you trying to pick a fight? I am not. I mean, you said you thought this would blow over. Do you believe this? Yes. How, Tim? It's not like they can make us stop seeing each other. I see you every morning for breakfast. There is no way we can be a family and not have you together. You share a bathroom, for God's sake. What do you want us to say, Dad? That it won't happen again? You've already said that. And yesterday you would have said that it would never happen at all. Isn't that true? I guess. Neither one of us wants you to live under unbearable pressure. That's the point. Then what? Does one of us leave? Leave? This is your home. It was Tim's home first. And nobody's asking Tim to leave either. What, Mother? Tell us what you want. I don't know. So what's the story, pal? What's going on over at your house? Sometimes it's like they wish I wasn't even there. Who wishes you weren't there? Everybody. I'm not supposed to wonder about what's going on. Kyle, you know, sometimes uh, adults have problems of their own. It doesn't mean that they don't care about you. I know that. The main thing is, don't worry about it. They'll probably shout at each other for a little while, and then it'll pass. Who? Your mother and David. I don't think it's about them. Who is it about? I think Tim and Jenny. What about Tim and Jenny? I don't know. I think we've made our feelings perfectly clear, and the kind of conduct that we expect from both of you from now on. And I think... It's time to put it aside now. Dad, I gotta say something. Even after all this and, and after what we put you through, I gotta be honest. And the truth is, the feelings I have for Jenny are still there. Damn it, Tim, do you think this is gonna help things? It's the truth, Dad! And I feel the same way. And... Vicky and I are going to feel better about this, right? Well, what, are we allowed to feel this but not talk about it? We talked it out. We calmed down. And now you have to... Hello. Um, yes. Vicky. Jandy. Now I suppose there's something wrong with Kyle. Listen. Vicky, I uh, think we need to talk. Kyle tells me that um, your house has turned into a battleground of some kind, and Jenny's right in the middle. Kyle exaggerates, you know that. He says that it involves Jenny and Tim. Are they not getting along? Get along fine. I'd like to know, Vicky, because it's tough enough for her to be thrown into a new environment without having to fight with somebody in the house. 
What is Kyle reacting to? Can you tell me that? Because uh, if I didn't know better, I'd think that there was something actually going on between those kids. I mean, that's how serious... Vicky, don't lie to me about this. Th this is too important. Andy, we're handling it. Well, this is some new family that you dragged her into, isn't it? Andy, take it easy. With a new brother just waiting to pounce? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. She's just a child. She's not a child. You may not have noticed it, but she is no longer a child. You make this sound as if it's all okay with you. No, it's not okay with us, and I told you we're handling it. How are you planning to go about that? It's not going to happen again. How do you know? They promised us. Oh, well, that's very impressive. What, this kid Tim is so trustworthy? I think he is. He just targets Jenny right there in the house. All right. I want those two kids with me. Jenny and Kyle both. Look, there's no need to uproot them. And I want them effective tonight. All right. Vicky. All right, what? All right, I won't argue with you about it. Maybe it's a good idea that they stay with you for the moment. All right, and I'll tell you something else. Jenny's not to go sneaking back over there to see him. You tell her that. You tell her that? You think we screwed up so badly as parents. Let's see you handle it. You'll see, all right. And I'll tell you something else. If either of you tries to undercut me, I will sue for permanent custody of those children. And you can bank on that. I, uh, I have to assume you know what you're doing here. David, I don't know what I'd do without those kids. Let's try not to get Andy any angrier, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. reason I just get these moods what did I do you left I left you know how that makes me feel like you don't want to be in the same house with me Damn, I thought it would be easier for you besides mom told me to go and you know that yeah she made you she stood there with a the club and no she... she just said it would be very important so I did what she wanted yeah, important to get away from me Dad. 
to ask you something. Well, come on in. Sit down. I have to see Jenny. Tim, we promised Andy. We just need a little time alone together. You can trust us, I swear. Just for now, it's better this way. It's not better for me, though. It's not better at all. Are you going to let me know when I've been punished enough? This isn't about punishment, Tim. Well, then why am I in little pieces? If I'm not being punished, what's happening to me? Please. Tim, if you could just be patient for a little while. Tim, just for... I wish you hadn't mentioned Andy. I don't want the kids to know what he's threatening. Uh, what was I supposed to do? Tell him it's none of his business? He's bleeding. I know that. When he hurts, I hurt. Oh, and I don't feel that. I don't ache for Jenny. Tim's been through enough pain. You don't know what Carol's death did to him. And Jenny just did a handsprings when her family broke up and her parents were divorced. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! We are actually fighting over whose kid is the unhappiest. Hello. I'm... Hey. Hey, hey. Hi, pal. Hi. How are you? Fine. Good. Where's Jenny? I don't know. Well, isn't she home yet? She came home and she left. She took all her clothes with her. She what? Damn it. So much for trusting those people. Kyle, come on. Let's go. I'm going to keep her. That's fine. You don't have that right. We'll let the courts decide that. You think a judge is going to let Jenny come back into this house after he finds out what's happened to her here? Andy, you tell that in court and it becomes public knowledge. If that's what I have to do, I'll do it. I can live with that. You can live with it. What about Jenny and Tim? What happens at their school? What about their friends? All right. Where's Jenny? I don't know. What, what do you mean? Well, I suppose that you haven't seen her at all today. Well, I saw her in the hall between classes, but but I didn't even talk to her. You're going to believe that? Yes. No wonder she wasn't safe here. You believe anything this kid hauls out. Not just a minute. It's the truth, Dr. Colrin. All right, all right. I can see what kind of cooperation I'm going to get from all of you. As they say, I'll see you in court. Andy, please don't do that. There are better ways. Like what? You don't want Jenny to live in this house, okay? We'll move. Vicki. What do you mean? I'll take Jenny and Kyle and we'll get a place of our own. That's absurd. You don't mean that. You're all crazy. He's right. You can't do that, Vicky. Tim, you don't know everything that's involved. Okay. I, I know where Jenny is. Where? I mean, I don't know for sure, but I have a pretty good idea. Tim, where? I'll go get her. Yeah, and I'll go with you. By myself. Look, Tim, I don't think you're in the position to be calling the shots here. By myself or I don't go. If that's calling the shots, they're called. Tim.
Hello. Dad, it's me. I found Jenny. She's fine. And it just all came down on her, and she had to get away for a while. Where are you? Everything's okay. I'm not going to tell you that. Okay, okay. Just, just get home as soon as you can. I'm not going to do that either, Dad. Dad, Jenny and I have to talk. I tried to make you understand that. Son, this, this whole thing has, has gotten out of hand. Now, I have to ask you, please. Don't do anything to make it worse. We won't. That's a promise. You can trust me. How soon will you be back? Tomorrow morning. Tim. Dad, I said you can trust me. We'll see you in the morning. Down here. This was a really foolish thing to do. No, Mom, it wasn't. Vicki? You need to talk. We, um... Well, we, we stayed up all night and we... thought this whole thing through. The, the first thing we decided is that we can't let your marriage suffer. Tim, we'll handle our situation. You can't Mom, take that load. Please, on. listen to him. We got this family into this mess. It's up to us to get it out. And you found a way? Yeah, we have. We understand that Dr. Carwin won't be satisfied with Jenny and me in the same house. But she belongs with you. There's no doubt about that. We'll fight, Andy. No, absolutely not. Next Saturday, after my graduation, I'm going to Atlanta. Atlanta? A friend of mine works for an overnight mail service there. I called him this morning. He said he was sure he could get me on. Can we appreciate what you're trying to do? Dad, there's no debate here. This is what I'm going to do. You think I'm going to let you give up your education? I'm not! The, the point is, the only way I can go to college full-time right now is to live at home. But I can't live at home, not with Jenny there. So I'm just, I'm going to work for a while and make some money. Maybe start up some junior college courses. Dad, don't worry, I'm going to college. Tim, if it's a matter of money, we'll find it. We'll sell this place and we'll take a third mortgage on the house. Dad, you're just beginning to get back on your feet. There's no way that I'm going to load this onto you. Listen to me, both of you. We are not going to let you punish yourselves like this. Do you feel like you're being punished? Of course not. We fell in love, and I don't see that we need punishment for that. No, neither do I, sweetheart, but yet here's Tim messing up his life. It's coming down on Tim, because there's not a lot I can do right now. I wish there were, but he's right. 
We have to take care of this or everything could fall apart. Your marriage, everything. But you're going off to Atlanta, never to return home. I mean, that's absurd. Of course you'll come home. Holidays for sure, whenever else I can. And then when he's here, I'll stay at Dad's. We will date other people. But when I'm home, we will see each other. I'll go over there and I'll pick her up and we'll go out just like... I almost said just like she was to free. You scared death by inches. <laughs> we'll be as responsible as any other kids our age and probably more. Count on it. And then when I'm 18, we'll see where we are and how we feel. And then I'll decide for myself what I want to do. So... That's what we're going to do. Dad? What? How do you feel about it? I feel, uh... I feel very proud. Both of you. It was nice of them to let us come in alone. Yeah. Orlando with a connection to Atlanta. Or well, your flight's in. It'll be just a few minutes. Thank you. All of a sudden, I feel scared. I really do. You're gonna be fine. So much can change. We know that. As we meet other people, as we mature, as things change. Well, if it doesn't hold, it wasn't right. Right? But if we change, I won't even have you as my friend. That's what scares me most of all. Yes, you will, Jenny, I promise. Hell, if it changes, you'll have a big brother again. I remember when that wasn't such a bad idea. Either way, I'll be there for you. when you announce your feelings. 